What's up everyone? My name is Starlight and today we are going to be doing a quick pastel goth inspired makeup tutorial. Before we can work on our eyes and lips, we need to fill in our brows. I'm going to be filling my brows in with an angled brush in a much darker and thinner way than I usually would. After I have the basic shape set in place, I will be blending out the center corner with a purple eyeshadow. To finish off my brows, I'm going to apply a couple thin strokes of black liquid liner down the end of my arch. Now that we've sharpened up our brows, we can move on to the eye portion of this tutorial. I'm going to start by applying a metallic purple pencil liner to the inner and center portions of my eyelid. After that, I'm going to apply a bit of my Coconut Grove eyeshadow to the outer corner of my eye and will be gently sweeping it upwards into my crease. I decided to use a basic magenta eyeshadow as the medium color in order to smoothly blend the two original shades together. The overall goal of this look is to maximize dramatic contrast as much as possible, so unless you have an extremely pigmented black eyeshadow, I would recommend substituting it with a black pencil liner as you see me doing here. It will require a bit more blending, but it's well worth it in the long run. As usual, I will be applying my black liquid eyeliner from NYC across my upper eyelid. This is where things really start to come together. When you're drawing your wings, don't be afraid to go big. As long as your lines are crisp, you can go as bold as you want. Now that I've finished my wings, I'm going to apply a small stroke of liner up into the crease of my eyelid and we'll be blending it out into the eyeshadow. In order to avoid a top-heavy appearance, I would highly recommend bringing your wing down into the outer half of your waterline before going any further. To finish off the eye portion of this tutorial, I'm going to be highlighting the inner corner of my eye with Maybelline's creamy Waves of White eyeshadow. Feel free to also make any additional changes or touch-ups before proceeding to the next step. The lips are by far the easiest part of this tutorial. I will be using a black lipstick from JCAT's Poutholic series to cover the main portions of my lips. To top things off, I'm going to be applying a generous coat of Clean Colors Megawatts Lip Gloss in Fiesta. After that, feel free to have fun! Makeup is an art and a beautiful form of self-expression. Be who you want to be, look how you want to look, and don't listen to anyone who tells you otherwise. As always, I will be listing all of the products mentioned in this video as well as where to buy them in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content in the future.